It's called the what device? The Gersh device. So is it supposed to be like an experimental Nazi weapon? Yeah, there's all... there's. I think it actually... The, the Gersh device might actually be a Soviet weapon, but like Nazi Zombies is all about like Nazi experimental technology and stuff like that. And so it's like... In that map, you're in a Soviet like uh, launch facility. Mm -hmm. And so like this is the first like Soviet uh, wonder weapon, I guess, you would come across. Because there's, like, a whole mythology in Nazi zombies. If you, like, dig deep into the maps and learn about, like, Easter eggs and stuff like that, there's a whole, like, fiction and story behind it all. And so, like, all of their weapons are, like, experimental weapons. And it that one's just, like... the And then there's, like, grenades and there's guns. And that's just, like, the coolest, like, grenade-type weapon. Like, it, it mm -hmm. occupies a gr grenade slot. So gotcha. It's really cool. Just my favorite. No, it's just... That's something I... I think is one of the most interesting things about World War II. It is the single largest jump in human advancement in technology, arguably until the computer age. I personally think it was a bigger jump than the computer age was. Um, it's a different in, in, scale jump than the computer age. Like, I don't know how well you could compare those two. Yeah, but just personally for me, you know, going from, okay, we just figured out how to fly less than 100 years ago to... Now we know how to manipulate atoms. Yeah, is is a bigger deal than okay? We figured out how to cool down computers and make them small. Yeah, I mean to be fair with, and we still can't make a printer that works. <laughs> it is, it is a, it's a one it's one type of technology that's capabilities have just gotten deeper and deeper and deeper. But with World War Two, it's like everything. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I just I find the the scientific advancement both in the you know noble sense and in like horrifying why the fuck did humanity do this sense to be the hands down most fascinating part about studying world war ii historically and so seeing weapons like that in a world war ii setting it has the potential for some people to come off as kooky and stupid but for me if you told me that the soviets tried to make a machine that shoots black holes i would believe you I, I wouldn't put that past them or the Nazis or us. It was to I could totally see it, man. We tried a lot <laughs> I, I of crazy shit. Work, but I, I would believe you. We trained dolphins to be spies. I mean, come on. We trained we, the Soviets tried training octopuses to like latch on to part of a submarine so that it would fill with CO two and drown everyone inside. 